This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Gato from DeepMind. What if you have a model or a machine learning algorithm, right, which can perform different tasks? Say it can perform image caption generation, it can play games, uh, it can do chat, right, it can work as a chat bot. So it can accept multiple inputs, multimodal inputs and still it is able to you know give the necessary outputs okay and what if it has the same set of weights irrespective of these different tasks that is what gato has achieved okay so gato is a generalist agent which can ex uh, which can accept multimodal uh, inputs okay and it has multitask multi embodiment generalist policy what does it mean? The same network with the same weights can play Atari, it can caption images, it can chat, it can stack blocks with the real robot arm and much more deciding based on its context whether to output text, join torques, button presses or other tokens. Okay, So it is completely context based. You can have different inputs and it can based on the input context, it can perform the necessary task. That's the key idea over here. Okay, so if you look at uh, what happens during the training phase is that, you know, you have these different uh, which images are being sent for caption generation, right? Uh, you have these for uh, Atari uh, games, basically the game, uh, the button presses over here, right? So there could be different uh, inputs which are being fed during training phase. And these inputs are then sequence uh, are serialized into a flat sequence of tokens batched and processed by a transformer neural network similar to a large language model okay the loss is mass so that gato only predicts action and text targets that is the key idea uh, when deploying gato a prompt such as a demonstration is tokenized forming the initial sequence next the environment yields the first observation which is also tokenized and appended to the sequence okay gato then samples the action vector auto regressively one token at a once all tokens comprising the action vector have been sampled, the action is decoded and sent to the environment which um, steps and yields a new observation. Then the procedure repeats. Okay, So there is this use of prompting also over here. So for example, if you want to do a caption generation, what happens is that an image plus a caption prompt is actually sent. Uh, it is sequenced. Uh, basically, it is tokenized. And then what happens is that it yields an observation it yields some kind of a what is the next step or next step in the sequence right based on that it kind of tries to predict the caption this is just an example for the caption generation okay so that is the idea over here you have a fixed prompt which is optional which is fed along with your observation observation could be an image could be an action right for robot it could be multiple uh, depending upon the environment it could be different things right so gato is trained on a large number of data sets comprising agent experience both in simulated and real world environments in addition to variety of natural language and image data set okay the number of tasks where the performance of the pre-trained gato um, model is above a percentage of expert score grouped by domain is shown below so these are the different tasks on which um, gato is performing um, you know above than expert that is what is shown over here and these are some of the images of that caption generation right so this is an image which is given as an input and these are the captions which have been generated for example this is a man a bearded uh, a bearded man is holding a plate of food which is quite accurate over here okay here it is about some horse and um, it says a group of people that is next to a big horse so these captions are quite accurate okay so these are examples of caption generations these are examples of chat okay as a chatbot right so if you have an input like do you have any fiction book recommendations this is the output from the model and then it continues this chat okay so this is about movement of the roboting arm okay so this is what gato has achieved it's basically a single model right which has a single model with weights basically and it uh, takes multimodal inputs and based on the context it gives a proper output to perform certain tasks okay so i had a quick look at the paper 
uh, just to see uh, they have also shared the paper so i just had a quick look not an in-depth look into the paper so they've explained the same thing over here a generalist agent which can sense and act with different embodiments across a wide range of environments using a single neural network with the same set of weights it was trained on six not four distinct tasks okay and uh, what they say over here is that how is the uh, training done so basically the tokenization happens so they have explained about the tokenization over here so if it is text uh, you are using sentence piece uh, uh, basically tokenizer to create tokens if it is image it is vit based um, transformer patches basically and it is in raster order if it is discrete values then they create tokenized result as a sequence of integers basically in a row major order if it is continuous values then they are first flattened into sequence of floating point values in row major order so this is how tokens are created depending upon different types of input okay so if it takes token then it is in the same order as the raw input if it is image patch tokens then it is raster order basically if it is tensors uh, row major order so these are the different uh, if it is uh, times agent time steps as observation tokens followed by a separator then action tokens so depending upon the various modalities of input you have this thing then you kind of embed them uh, so they uh, they have a parameter is embedding function uh, for uh, doing this um, embedding over here uh, so if it is tokens belonging to image patches then resnet okay if it is tokens belonging to text discrete or continuous this thing anytime they are a yeah, lookup table into a learned vector embedding space learnable position encodings are added for all tokens based on their local position okay so this is embedding for text and images then they train this so what i understood over is it's about if you have a batch of sequences then it is about um, you know predicting the next sequence um, okay that is the idea over here uh, i have not gone fully into details over here of the training okay so what they are saying is that uh, uh, if you have distinct tasks within a domain can share identical embodiments observation formats the model sometimes needs further context uh, rather than providing one hot task identifiers we take um, this thing and use prompt conditioning so this is where prompt comes in to condition the model okay so what they do is that during training 25% of sequences in each batch a prompt sequence is prepended coming from an episode generated by the same source agent on the same task half of the prompt sequences are from end of the episode for goal conditioning on many domains so what does this mean actually uh, half of the prompt sequences are end of the episode so for example if it is a robotic movement right what is the end action which needs to be done so that end action is appended along with the input okay in some cases it is beginning right it could be from uh, start for say for captioning and all it's be like um, you know starting of the caption or something like that so these prompts are also used over here along with your input to actually train your this thing and what is the size of this model it's a 1.2 billion parameter decoder only transformer with uh, 24 layers embedding signs of 2048 and a post extension feed forward a hidden size of 8196 details are over here so they are using a transformer model and this entire gato is a 1.2 billion transformer model 1.2 billion parameters transformer model okay so details are given over here uh, about the other uh, you know how uh, basically deployment is done and other things over here so this is a huge uh, step in the field of uh, say uh, agi or uh, your uh, artificial general intelligence basically um, so with uh, improvements in hardware right we will see more and more such transformers coming out such models coming out more generic models which a single model being able to do multiple tasks so this is a huge step in the field of uh, ai i hope you like this video about uh, short video about uh, gato if you like the content please like share subscribe to the channel See you in another video. Happy learning.